Uh, it is <laughs> Jiggy Jam. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing at this stage of the game. But uh, I am a much better flower than I thought I would be. And uh, it's day number six. Pick up sticks and thanks for the middle. State Fair 2022. And Electronic devices in your pocket. You can look us up on edricks.com or you can come out there to the bed and breakfast. You can stay in the zebra room, the camel room, take tours of the whole farm, see all the breeding animals. You might even see the truck loading out or the ones coming in. You just never know what's going to happen at our place. You betcha. Alrighty. Got a question for you. How many of you have seen a pig race before? Okay, good. A lot of repeat questions. How many of you have never seen a pig race? All right. So, hey, I think that one young lady raised her hand twice over there. How many of you raised your hands just because you like to raise your hands? Yeah, that's it. You betcha. Okay, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. First thing, remember. There's three races, and we'll just be right back to back, so don't anybody get up and leave after that first one, all right? Oh, yeah. Now, as you can tell, we've got our famous Hog Hilton Hotel right back here. Yes, sirree. That's where the stars of the show are back there preparating right now. They're talking to each other. They're doing their stretching. They're getting all their game plans set up, ready to go. And here in a little bit, you know, I remember, I just forgot something. I forgot to introduce my partner in swine. Yes, sir. Hey, folks, here's Brother Elroy. You betcha. Oh, Brother Elroy is in charge of these pigs. He trains them, he feeds them, and he does that other job back there in the trailer, too. You betcha. So if everything goes just right, Brother Elroy's the man. If something don't go just right, Brother Elroy's still the man. Yes, sir, we, you betcha. Now, I understand this crowd's a little young for Brother Elroy, but some of you older gals, he is still single. I said older gals, young lady. But you get done with this race, you might find out why. <laughs> yes, sir. -y. You betcha. Okay, now back to my mistake there. Let's get back here. Oh, brother Elroy, he'll bring them down here. He'll put them in the paddock back here. He'll put them in, in the starting gates. He'll put those racing silks on them. We got red silks, white silks, blue silks, and yellow silks. And I'll get to that in a little bit here with you. That's where all you folks are going to come in out here. He'll put them in these here starting gates. I'm going to reach over here to this here electronic device, and old Bugle Boy is going to call them to post. Then I'm going to get them in here. I'm going to rattle these gates, and I'm going to throw this here lever wide open like that. Then pigs are going to come running and bumping, slipping and a slide down around that curve. Now, you folks on that curve, sometimes that's not all sawdust that comes applying, so you want to be a little careful. And then they're going to come down what we call the hand stretch right there to the finish line. Folks, if you got a camera over there, I might need a photo finish once in a while. And you know what they race for? One genuine Oreo cookie. Show them the cookie, Brother Elroy. Brother Elroy, you need to be in front of the sign. Now, oh, folks, I warned you. Brother Elroy, would you please show them the cookie in front of the sun? Yes, sir, right there it is. One genuine Oreo. Hey, hey. 
Save that for the pigs. Now, if any of you want to come down here to help the pigs clean up the crumbs, you know, we can do that maybe later. Yes, sir. Okay, Brother Elroy is going to bring them down here. And this is where i got to give you all some instructions right here. Now, we're going to divide this group right there at the end of this section over here, these two sections. And I, well, in the middle of them. You've got some red shakers over here, right? All righty. Boy, I might not keep my hat on here. Oh, you guys are on hat patrol back here. Every time I mention number red or number one, I need this section to root and holler and carry on. Let's have a little practice here, okay? I think they think this is a time delayed show here. Okay, down here, number two, the white section. Let's practice a little. Okay, there we go. Number three over here in the blue section. Okay. Okay, yellow section, you see what you got to beat. So let's go. Alrighty, there we go. Yes, sir. Ray. I'll tell you now, you got to remember, root for your pigs as we go here, all right? Okay, let me introduce the stars of the show to you here this day, this first race. In gate number one, wearing the red silks. You folks all might have him right at home in your refrigerator. Here we've got Oscar Meyer. Red section. Okay. Okay. Number two, wearing the white silks. This guy was a famous singer before he got into the sausage business. Here we've got him, Jimmy D. And at number three, one of my personal favorites. Here we've got. Crispy Bacon! You bet. And in number four, you know, we could find a lot of this right here on the fairgrounds. Here we've got her, Barbie Q! Alright, fellas. Okay, we'll see if old Google Boy can call him to post. slow down a bit, did he? He come right on around there. Yes, sir. -y. Now they'll get back up there and they'll go to back to their hog hill. You know, they, they got a pretty good life. They run about five seconds, you know, go back. I've gone over on I, I referred to him. I said, you know, I said, we got this one guy. And I said, he just won't shut up. I said, he didn't shut up when he was crazy. He don't shut up now. And I said, here we got him, Donald Rump. And I usually get a few cheers on that. And we I are use... we are here at the uh, Kansas State Fair, Jiggy Jag TV. And uh Hendrix Pig Races, the racing pigs. And uh I'll tell you, you are amazing when you're doing the thing. You are having a blast. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Well, I'm stage name. I'm Brother Leroy. Brother Leroy. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, uh, it is band day here at the fair. How do you... You know what I, will, I love is that when the bands come by, if they're too loud, you just slow down and just let them do their thing. I just let them go by. <laughs> I tell the people, I said, let's just enjoy them. And, you know, it takes about 10, 15 seconds for them to walk by. The people enjoy them. And I learned a long time ago, you can't, you you can't out, out announce them. That's right. So tell me a little bit about the keg races. This has always been a huge part of the Kansas State Fair. It is amazing. You guys do this, what, three, four times a day? Uh, five. Five. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, actually five times. Uh, that's kind of our normal routine. Yeah. You know, we travel all over the country. We're in the middle of the state fair runs right now. Okay. And uh, you know, this past month we've been in Springfield, Missouri, Sedalia, Missouri, Grand Island, Nebraska, and now here. Uh, we're actually home here. Yeah. Uh, our base is right here out of Dickerson, Kansas. So, we're home. so what do you think of these, as, as we're kind of hearing the marching bands come by, uh, have you seen any impressive bands this morning? Oh, 
bald caps on. That is <laughs> that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, I got it, I haven't seen that. I have not seen the bald caps uh, on, the, uh, on the band. That is, that's, that is pretty that's amazing. A new, that's, that's a new one, yes. I'm wondering if that was a lining for a big hat that they wore for some time or something, you know. And I like their, you know, they're not a very big band, but they're playing, they're having fun. And I always enjoy these kids who are musicians because <laughs> the day those talents were passed out, I was absent. So. Yes. <laughs> so, the pig race is, is fantastic. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do. First of all, how do you how do you come up with the names oh. for the pigs? Because you're not reading up a script, baby. You're just going straight in it. So. Well, I do have a list of the names because <laughs> I've got so many of them up there, you know. But... Uh, you know, it's just like, I mean, you've done enough of them. <laughs> you, 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 get to, you don't need to script. And, you know, uh, all of it's just names we've thought of over the years. Uh, you know, and you, you've always kind of got to evolve that script just a little bit. Uh, yes. You know, I can, I've got some names here, some old actors. Well, <laughs> half of these people like, who's that? That's right. You know, uh, and some of these new folks, I really don't want to publicize some of them very much. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, the, and the Sesame Street always goes over Sesame good. Sesame Street's good. You know, yeah. the Sesame Street, uh, the Oscar Mayer and the Jimmy Dean, everybody yes. knows who that yeah. is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got some old time racers, you know, I've got Squealy Nelson, I've got Mario <laughs> Hamretti. That's awesome. You know, I've got Lance Armstrong, Hamstrong. Hamstrong, and, that's right. Uh, got Forrest Gump run Forrest run you know and I had a bunch of young ones the other day I said y'all seen that movie what are you even talking about it well, uh, you, you need to look it up you need to go watch Forrest Gump, as, you know? as 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 a uh, as, as a great man once said Google the internet <laughs> yeah yeah just be careful what you Google that's right so uh, what does it take to get this all set up when you guys first come in well I'll tell you what every, everything here fits in that tray. Wow. So there is kind of a precise way, you know, you got to load and unload. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you've got a good crew, you can set this up in a little over two hours. Uh, if you don't have an experienced crew, it takes a little longer. <laughs> you know? So you uh, handle you but, handle this area. Yeah. Uh, when you're not pig racing, what are the pigs just in their pens? Yeah, they're just you back there snoozing. Just... You know, we they're they're fed and watered after every race. Yeah. Uh, yeah you guys take holiday... extremely good care of the oh, pigs. Oh, you bet we do. <laughs> uh, you know, they've got fans on them. They've got real big, high-powered fans that, in the real hot weather, are capable of some misters. And uh, you know, they like that old cool sawdust in there. Yeah. You know, really, they're just pretty comfortable in there. <laughs> and. Uh, of course, they got to spill their water tubs, you know. Oh yeah. And uh, well, one that's thing, just a hog. I love the fact that when I think it was the second race, uh, I think it was number three, he was about to turn. He was getting out of that fence. Oh yeah. And he was he was doing all he could. And uh, when you guys finally let him out of there, he went to town. I, I actually a year ago had a set of pigs and I had a jumper. Oh really? Yes. He tried to jump the gates back up. <laughs> We'd look around and he'd be out here in the middle of the track. Or out there. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't take him up down the road. <laughs> One of the things I love about pigs is they are a smart, smart animal. They are. They are very intelligent. You know, I, I joke about them making good pets. But I've known a few people who have had pigs, yeah, and they uh, are phenomenal. They really are. And. barrels and tubs and everything else, you know, <laughs> and uh, let's face it, people waste a lot of food, yes. and those, those, uh, those pigs have clean all that up. Well, and I'll tell you, the whole composting thing. And they love sweets. Thing, yeah. You know, I mean, you see what they do to that cookie. Oh, you know what I thought was great? I think it was the second race. The the first one had won, and he just blew by the cookie. Yeah. And, and the rest of them were all over it. Well, he, he, he knows that there's something else waiting in the trailer. <laughs>
So how long have you been doing all this? Well, I, you know, I'm just a helper. Uh, Joe Hedricks is the main man in charge, yeah. and Joe's been doing it uh, basically all of his life. Yeah. His dad was a rodeo clown, and Joe also was a rodeo clown, and then a school teacher for several years. Which, in the state of Kansas, and that at least was, you've got uh, the skills. That was yeah. ba that rodeo was back. To go into uh, that was back in the middle seventies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, actually, Joe Hedricks was my shop teacher when I was a junior that and senior. That is phenomenal. In back in uh, well, back in the seventies. <laughs> and you know That's we've great. been just lifelong friends. And I live close by him. I help him out now and then. Yeah. Uh, I don't go up and down the road with him, yeah. you know. But uh, I, I help him haul something or go to special shows and stuff. That's know? awesome. And uh, I enjoy it. And, uh, you know, as you see, you watch the people. Oh, it's great. It, it's just so much it's fun. It's phenomenal. People love it. It's like when I first got here, yeah, you had some... Had some people in the stands, and then right before the oh, race, yeah, right before place the race, sold it just, out. It just it just fills up, <laughs> and uh, you know we we start that music ten minutes ahead of time. Yep. And when we start that music, people know, and uh, yeah, it comes. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to later in the day. We're going to have a lot of these kids here, these band kids. Yep. And you know, they can be pretty enthusiastic, and uh, and uh, it'll just you know, where else can you go? That you basically can bring anybody from a little child to a extreme adult yep. and all have the same fun, all enjoy this. I've got adults that come back to the and you know, we, we just gotta see the big races. You gotta see the big races. Yeah, I gotta see the big races. That's awesome. And you know, we're kind of getting down to the end of our, our state fair run. Uh, we'll leave here. We uh, will go to the Texas State Fair at Dallas. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. We, we take a very large petting zoo down there in the pig races. Yeah. Uh, and the Texas State Fairgrounds encompasses the cotton bowl. Wow! I did not know that. And there is two home football games during the Texas State Fair. Oh, Jesus. What a nightmare all that is. Oh, <laughs> man. I tell you, if, if you folks want to see some people, you just come down there and see us. And then that pretty well wraps up our state fair. Uh, we get a little break then, the last part of October, first part of November. Yeah. And then we actually have a, a big Christmas season. Uh, we do, we, yes, we do uh, lots of nativity scenes. We do lots of churches. Uh, we go to some big mega churches for their Christmas wow. thing. Uh, we'll take our camels and donkeys and other little animals oh, right, yeah. down, oh, right yeah. down through the sanctuary across the stages. Uh, do a lot of one, two night stands here within close driving distance. Uh, that's awesome. Actually, we get pretty busy uh, the middle of December. I think that's phenomenal. Uh, and and everybody doesn't realize this is in training. All these animals that are around the summer, you know, they're being trained and do that. You know, yeah. we just don't go catch an old goat and put a lead rope on them and take them down <laughs> to the church. You know, same same way. Takes with, a lot of time way and effort. Camels, you know, we walk them things right through the door. We go right down the aisle and put spotlights on them. Yeah. You know, well. And they got to be prepared. They've had for a little all training that. for that, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah, we're very busy at Christmas. Uh, some That's churches awesome. do it every other year. Some do it every year. Uh, I personally, several years ago, was in a church in Louisville, Kentucky, that the sanctuary held 7,000 people. That, well, was kind this, of, that was kind of rude awakening to an old yes. kid. <laughs> well, this has been phenomenal. Thank you for doing you this, bet. my friend. You and bet. Uh, thanks to the Kansas State Fair. Thanks for watching. You TV. betcha. Well, you are amazing, my friend. You are quite.